I'm here with a different video in here. Today we have an HP 2-in-1 uh, laptop tablet. This one is a Pavilion X4 or also it's called Pavilion 11 X2 PC. It's a 2-in-1 format so it's a kind of mini laptop. At the same time you can detach the base, the keyboard and the extra battery and you can have it in a tablet format. And I'm not here to do an unboxing. I'm here to show you guys how to can, how you can upgrade the hard drive on this one. People like I know you can only add an extra SD card and stuff like that. That's not true. You can actually open it up and add an extra M.2 SATA drive right in there. I'll leave the link in the description where you can purchase this one. You can purchase up to one terabyte, 256 gig, or whatever uh, capacity that you like. This specific one, the model is at the bottom in here. It says, this one is kind of, is an RT3290. That's the model for this one. So first thing first, we want to detach the bottom base. And we're going to grab the, the tablet or the laptop. What you want to do, you want to grab yourself an uh, opening tool. In here, I'm using a guitar pick. So you wanna, once you have your guitar pick, the metallic, or you can use an opening tool, whatever you, that you have. And what you wanna do, you wanna stick the guitar pick between the bottom and the top cover, just like that. Okay. And then all you wanna do, you wanna wiggle it around, just like that, twist it a little bit, and do all around. You wanna hear some clicks. That's what you wanna hear. And you want to go all around. There's one. Do the side all the way down. And do keep it, put your finger in this so it doesn't close down. Do the top corner. Go around. I'm just wiggling around, twisting it. And we're going to do the bottom. Same thing. Let's take it right there. Look, this one is actually open. Pretty easy. All right, now once you open it, if you feel like there is something holding it down there, it just kind of clips that holds it in the middle. All you want to do, once you did all the sides on the bottom, everything, you want to put a face down and you want to hold it from the middle and you want to just lift it up and bend it. And it should let go of the clip in the middle. So, do the back, there's one right there. there. Uh, there will be an easy way, if you, if you feel this one is holding it, just pull, lift up this side, the, where the power on button is, and pull it slightly towards this side. Why? Because the hinge is right in the middle, and is holding it this way. So if you pull it this way towards the power on button, it's gonna let loose much easier. Okay? So this is the bottom cover. Let's put that to one side. And down here, pretty much is really straightforward. You wanna grab yourself a, a screwdriver. I use the iFixit tool set. I'll leave the link in the description. These are one of the really good set. You wanna use Phillips number zero. You do not need to remove the battery, but if you want to be extra cautious, you can just remove the battery by pulling this uh, jack backward. This jack right here, don't pull on the cables. Always pull this white jack right there backward. And there's your battery. The battery is right under here. There are two batteries that come to one jack. And the hard drive is right down here by the bottom side in the corner. There's only one screw holding it. So remove this screw. This is 128 gig. Or I believe it's 64 gig, 64 gig version. So once you remove the screw, just lift it up a little bit in 45 degree angle. Don't yank it upward, otherwise you're gonna break the contacts. You wanna lift it up just up to where it actually lets you lift up. Don't force it. 
and you want to pull it out in 45 degree angle and then you want to grab yourself the new one this one is the 256 or 128 gig you can buy up to 256 500 gig m.2 sata uh, drive and then you want to slide it in, in the same position the 45 degree angle just in like that and then push it in and let go all the way down and then you can grab the screw and place it right on top and screw it down all right and then you have to actually grab your usb stick and load up the new windows rt and format this one and install it right on top and the last thing it will be to just grab the connector for the power, uh, battery align it and then push it toward the jack and there we have it and the last thing will be to grab the bottom back cover align it right on top and then just press it down press down the corners the mid and the sides make sure you hear those clicks and that's how it is it's really simple easy i hope you guys like this and if you see any gap opening just pinch them all right guys i hope you like this video if you guys liked it click that thumbs up button and i really appreciate if you guys subscribe if you have any questions leave them in the comment area and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video